Attention, Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -hmm. Pretty though. Ah, uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Handsome Jack defeating, um... Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? Cool! The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. An epic mount that Jack rode into every single battle. And, uh... I wonder if Jack even rode that horse into space battles. <laughs> that sounds dangerous and awesome. If you feed it... The stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Ah, Whoa. okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. This... Ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? That was a test, people. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Step aside and raise your arms. 
Oh, ho, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Gordon, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just stop. What? Oh boy. I I I, I can't believe we're here. Uh here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh Gotta be, I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Uh, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome oh my God. Jack oh. VIP oh experience. Oh, God! This isn't a we tour! You it's a goddamn tour. death trap! Okay, uh... Let's go. Everybody out. I'm not cleaning that shit up again. You got this? That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and and that is saying a lot. I I I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back. That's here. Crap. He said to hold tight. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it. Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't reason, then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. Oh, hey, Yvette. Glad you came by. Just cleaning up my computer. Spare me the sarcasm. You want to tell me what's going on? We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. 
and all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez in the, uh... So in the first place, maybe you shouldn't have. Weren't Reese and Vaughn your friends? They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Mallory's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? I'd, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down? A stun rod? Oh, wait a second, that's the one... The one I gave... Therese? Hello, Yvette. Oh, shit. Fiona, you there? Reese, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would've drained the frickin' battery on it back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would've bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation town. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Reese, what's going on? Are you... are you talking to Jack? Hey, pipe down for a second, please. Jack says he might have a way out of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Was he teaching you how to be a bigger dick? <laughs> I'll leave you to it. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door, is it a, is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. You're, you're just you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess and your disguise breaking down. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step though is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. So, did 
Jack bestow any pearls of wisdom? Yeah, more or less. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. Hey! Hey! Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why... why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop looking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? Why was it just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Reese, you there? V Vaughn? Vaughn? Look. I don't know if you can hear me, but I managed to get away from Valerie. I'm not sure where I am right now, but I've got some things planned that I... V v Vaughn? Vaughn? Vasquez? Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. Can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! to lead.
screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see one. Hey! What's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. I think she said release. Release? Yeah, like, hey, release me. How pathetic. Right. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, Release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh, yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? Jack told me about a trapdoor that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. And I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. How could you possibly doubt him? Possibly die. Oh, okay, are you are you are you moving? Not even a little. Oh, I got this. Looks like it. All right, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Oh! <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Climb! Climb! You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you...
so dramatic about everything. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. I did make it. No thanks to you. Hey, you were the one at the wheel, kiddo. Kudos. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just the scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't, uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy, badass, sheriff-type chick. <laughs> he suited her. Jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. I wonder what I'll become. Negative. Definitely no. Oh, this. This shotgun. It's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> Then you kill him. So this means... you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there.
Yeah, with that gorgeous. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. Feels like a goddamn chair. Yeah, yeah, but the buttons next to this chair help me make some big changes in this world, you know what I'm saying? So what you're saying is it's a chair with buttons. <sighs> you're killing me. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Who is it you're talking to? They told me to stay quiet. Oops! <gasps> I did it again! I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle of something. Nope, I can't tell you that either. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh. We could wield Hyperion's mic together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd open the vault, finish what I started. Even if there's a tentacle monster in there, I don't care anymore. Oh, you, you don't gotta explain. <laughs> I was all about the vault. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we could rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a... After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted. Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. Yeah, sure, sure. Call me kiddo a billion times and laugh at your own jokes. I should have never brought you back. So annoying. Oh, I'm annoying? Am I annoying now? How about now? Am I annoying now? How about now? Am I annoying? <laughs> well, you haven't even seen me try to get under your skin yet, you know. I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. No, you really not machine is off. Get the bacon? We're ready for you. Oh, you really shouldn't have told Fiona. Because... All good. 
Just get into position. What are you doing? <laughs> Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The sisters were enraged when the corporate lackey revealed his secret, but there was no backing out now. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you ship. Have yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally, aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gordis component. At that moment, the former middle manager discovered that the plan had worked. Not there, <laughs> Handsome Jax 